Alright, first we're going to need a couple programs, and excuse the really extremely low frame rate, I'm using some crappy webcam recording software, I don't use webcams, so I did this just to put out a tutorial. Anyway, uh, we're going to need a few programs, so we're going to go to Google, uh, we're going to search for GIMP, we're going to need GIMP, which is kind of like a Photoshop program, more basic and free. And then we're going to need a plugin for GIMP to open DDS files, which is what the Bethesda Fallout files come in as DDS files or, or the images file, the image files anyway. Uh, then we're going to need Bethesda uh, Archive Extractor which you can get on the Nexus. Um, download that manually. Don't uh, try to run it with your mod organizer or mod manager. Anyway, once you have those, uh, you will just, you can just install GIMP. Once you have GIMP installed, I already have all these things installed, so I'm not going to run you through it, but Install GIMP to your computer. It's fine. It's safe. Uh, then take your plugins that you got for GIMP, uh, copy those files, and go to your C drive, Programs 86, Programs, regular program files, GIMP. See, so just follow where I go. Lib, GIMP 2.0, plugins. Um, and just copy those files and put them in here. Uh, now you're done with that, you can close that out. Now run your Fallout, uh, your Bethesda Archive Extractor. And you're going to go to File, Open. You're going to find your Fallout uh, folder, which is in Steam, Steam Apps, Common. Uh, Fallout 4 data and then at the bottom of your data folder you'll find some texture uh, some texture files open one of those I don't know which one it is so we'll run through until we find it just open them here all right so uh, it's in this second one painting is generic in textures, set dressing, paintings generic. So you want to select none here at the top. Select none uh, because you don't want to you don't want to get every file from there. It'll take forever. So just select none, then select the paintings generic. And there's other paintings and other images, but for now we're just going to do the paintings generic. So open those up, um, or sorry, save those into a folder. Once you have those saved into a folder, you will come down here to GIMP, open GIMP. <clears throat> now, wherever that folder is, open that, you'll see your paintings, bring them down. You can't open them because they're DDS files. Only GIMP can open them, which is why you have GIMP. Do not load MIT maps. Uh, that will fuck it everything up. You'll have like 30 files in here. Don't load MIT maps. So just uncheck that. Every time you do this, uncheck load MIT maps. Now this is your file, this is your DDS file, this is what it will look like in game, uh, minus the frame, that doesn't show, this is just the texture image obviously. Down here, right click, properties, details, and you can see the, you can see the size of your image, and that's very important, if you get one pixel off uh, the wrong size, the whole thing is fucked. So it has to be the right size, you'll know because it's going to be divisible by four. Um, so what you want to do is find an image on Google, let's say, and we can just search for that size specifically, which will make this whole thing easier. Um, download the file, and you just drag and drop right on top and it'll fit perfectly. If it didn't fit, you'd have to come over here, 
uh, to use one of these options with the scale key, which is the blue box with the arrow going through the top left corner. You use that to scale it around and make it fit. And once it's fitting how you want it in the image, you come over here, you click, these are layers. So one is above the other, whatever, whichever one is above, consider it like a stack of papers. The one on top is the one you can see. You right click it, merge down, because you want it to take the place of the one below. Uh, now they become one. And then you want to go click uh, fit to layer size, because like I said, you want those numbers to be exact. If they're not exact, fucks up in game. Your whole game will crash, not good. So we go to file, export as, um, and these, this is a file um, hierarchy, so you know where it's going, but it's gonna, it's gonna automatically save wherever you pulled the file from originally, which was your paintings, so you want to overwrite that anyway. So that's where it's gonna go. Yes, you're gonna overwrite it. Now, it's going to have these little options, for compression, you want the second option. And then down here at the bottom, you want to generate mitmaps. This is important. Again, it won't work if you don't do these two things very specific every time. And then you're done. You can close out GIMP completely. Uh, and now you have your file. Your picture will be in game. Well, as soon as you take this folder. So once you've done all these, uh, you're going to go back until you have the textures folder. Just take that textures folder, open up your Fallout uh, data folder, and just drop your textures into your Fallout data folder. That's it. You have working fucking textures that you chose, and now the game is as awesome as you want it to be. Enjoy. Hope that helped a little bit. You guys were asking me for tutorials, so 